All right, well, we'll take you now live to Ellis Park where the memorial for former Bafana Bafana coach Ted Dimitri is underway. Kaiser Mutong, uh, the Kaiser Chiefs uh, chairman and founder, is currently speaking at the service. Can I stand here before you with a heavy heart simply because I happen to have been very responsible in making sure that uh, today we are here. I stand here with a heavy heart because Ted was here because I persuaded him to come to South Africa. I had met him in America, so we must stay there to our my career as a player. Unfortunately, when he came back, when he came to Africa via Zambia, he went to Swaziland, and I happened to go to Swaziland at the time, and we met again. And we had a very, very lengthy discussion about football, particularly in South Africa. Yeah, the players that he has produced in this country and the 
tent must be happy wherever he is right now because I believe that uh, he has fulfilled his mission in life and his mission was football. As all the speakers have said, Ted's mission was football. His personal life was very, very private. I personally did not even know anything about his, 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 his private life, his family life, except what we know. He was, very, very, he was a very, very private person. But I stand here also to attest to the fact that Ted, having worked with all the other coaches I've worked with in my life, he stands out as one of those coaches who has never once become vocal or complain about any little thing. Those who, who work with coaches will tell you what we go through. <laughs> because sometimes it happens because of the pressure of the work. There's so much pressure on, 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 with the coaches in this work that some of the things we take them, take them too far. But Ted is one man I can tell you, even when he came and left and came, we kept, we even kept contact all the time. He's one person as a coach who has never, ever had any complaints. If he had an issue, he would come and talk quietly. But he would never go out and make noises about things to try and cover, cover himself. Yes, you might have seen the clip earlier on. He, he was also human like all of us. He was not a perfect perfectionist, but he was also, he also had his flaws. As you can see from the clips that they played earlier on in terms of the national, the national team, when he, left, when he left the country, he said he was going to deliver. When he came back with nothing, he still wouldn't say he has failed. But he wanted to tell those that wanted to bury him, to say no. There are reasons for everything that happened. So he was that type of a person. He also had he could also create his own uh, controversies sometimes. <laughs> but be that as it may, I think it is appropriate for me on behalf of Kaiser Chiefs and also on behalf of the soccer fraternity in this country to really say thank you to somebody who's Last year he was devoted to, to our football in better making our football, football better. And I want to acknowledge the vast contribution that he has, he has made in this country, the impact that he has done. And I do hope that uh, Safka and Sa Safa will ensure that the Ted's legacy is kept alive in whatever form or manner the two organizations need to get together to sit down and show our appreciation to this, uh, I don't know whether to call me Africa man, because he was African. But I think we should be grateful that we have somebody in our East who makes such a vast contribution, which cannot be equal to right now. At this point in time, I would like to take this opportunity to express on behalf of Kaiser Chief, my sincere condolences to his family, his 
friends, and the entire South of fraternity. And uh, may his soul rest in peace, and he shall be missed dearly. I thank you.